Oedipus the King by Sophocles. Hey, I'm the king, baby. But of Thebes, uh, not rock and roll. Well, still, it's a pretty cushy gig for the most part, except for that pesky curse that's making everyone wither and die. It's really a drag when there are no cows for the royal burger and your servant drops dead in your plate of wilted asparagus. I sent my brother-in-law, Creon, to the Oracle to find out what the deal was. He got the answer right from Apollo's mouth. We needed to launch a full-scale investigation to find out who killed Thebes' previous king, Laius. I was on the case and was using proven crime-solving techniques, but my focus was pulled when that incredibly annoying chorus had to butt in. Need help solving a murder? Try asking Tarisios. Yeah, all right, all right. So I got the old coot to make an appearance, and you know what his helpful hint was? Well, apparently I'm the murderer. Uh, I think I'd remember something like that, don't you think? And then he told me I was gonna die blind and alone and went on some cockamamie tangent about me being married to my mother. Okay, all right guys, look, where's the camera? Come on, I'm being punked, right? Ashton, where are you? Dude, where's my chariot? But I knew what was really going on. Creon and Teresius were plotting to take over the kingdom. This wasn't the first time somebody had been after my crown. It was lucky for those backstabbers that my lady Jocasta showed up to calm me down. She told me all about how unreliable predictions can be, like once someone told Laius that Jocasta and Laius' son would kill him and marry her, isn't that wild? But they got rid of that creepy kid. <clears throat> and I mean, yeah, I, I did kill a few guys in a, a fight a while ago. But anyway, that's ancient history, totally unrelated. Then a messenger showed up and dropped the bombshell that my dad was dead. But he really wasn't my dad because apparently I was adopted. A lonely king and queen were shopping around for a kid and got one off a local shepherd or on eBay or something. I decided to investigate this shepherd even though Joe didn't want me to. You'll be sorry. I probably should have listened to her because uh, then I wouldn't have learned uh, that I was Laius and Jocasta's kid, which means, which means, yeah, sorry, ugh. A servant came in at this dramatic moment and told me that Jocasta had killed herself. I couldn't believe my wife, uh, I mean my mom, was dead. I mean, ugh. I was feeling a little emotionally fragile at this moment. Uh, you could say I was a sight for sore eyes. But I guess hindsight's always 20-20, right? At least I'm not being kept in the dark anymore. Uh, I'm sorry, these puns are getting cornea and cornea. You'll be sorry. Subscribe to check out more equally fantabulous videos. You should see the subscribe button just below this one. If you're having trouble locating it, we recommend you watch our video, How to Find the Subscribe Button. <laughs>